Right here I have this reverse osmosis water filtration system. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. This is everything that comes inside the package besides a user manual. So essentially this is the main body right here and it does have this little mounting space back here that you're gonna have to mount underneath your sink where you're going to use this. It does come with a stainless steel gooseneck faucet. You can see what this looks like. I really like the look of this. Right here, it comes with all of the tubing that you're going to need, and all of the tubing is really nicely labeled here. You can see this one's labeled the outlet water, the waste water, and this one is the inlet water. And then in these little baggies, we have all of the different pieces that you're going to need to install this entire kit. And then we also have all four of these filters. It does mark really clearly what each of these filters are. You can see this one is the T33, which is the post carbon filter. This one is the CTO, which is the activated carbon block. This one is the PP filter, which is the melt blown sediment. And this one right here is the RO, which is the reverse osmosis membrane. The nice thing about this system, and one of the reasons that we really liked it, is that it's supposed to efficiently remove 99.99% of 1,000 plus harmful different contaminants. Another nice thing about this kit is it does come with a UV sterilization feature. What that's gonna do is essentially destroys the DNA of the microorganisms so that they lose the ability to reproduce and die not getting into your water. Another huge reason that we like this one is that it is tankless. So not only do you free up your storage space underneath your sink, but you don't have to worry about secondary contamination like the water sitting in a tank and then having some buildup from there. My husband's going to go ahead and install this. You can kind of see what that looks like. This is going to test how pure your water is. Right here I have just our regular tap water, and right here I have this purified reverse osmosis water. Let's go ahead and do the tap water first. Okay, you can see we have a solid 79. So you can see right here, it kind of has a gauge on which levels are harmful and what each of these numbers kind of means. So that is actually pretty good for tap water, but it's over here in this section here. So let me go ahead and do this reverse osmosis water from this filtration system. Let's clear this. Okay, wow. Uh, we've tested a lot of water and I actually haven't seen it completely at zero without any wavering at all. So that's pretty awesome. This is at a flat zero. Overall, I'm very impressed with this reverse osmosis water filtration system. I love that it doesn't have a tank and I love that it doesn't take up too much room underneath the sink. And honestly, this number is just so impressive. We're gonna get so much use out of this filtration system.